the hell is that for? Cause you know, black folks, we don't read instructions. Oh Lord. Today's sponsor is Dossier Perfumes. They are no stranger to my channel. Y'all know I fool with Dossier the long way just because you can get that designer smell without breaking the bank. So all of their fragrances are designer inspired fragrances for a fraction of the price. You know, designer fragrances can be anywhere from like from 90 to $300 plus. So with Dossier, you are getting them for $30 dollars baby you cannot beat that with a stick so these are the fragrances that i picked out i have shown you guys these before and i've been loving them these are like my everyday perfumes my work perfumes like depending if i'm feeling like girly i'll put on a certain fragrance or if i want something kind of like bossy then i'll put on one of their more stronger masculine fragrances so i'm just gonna go through these really quick this first one I have is Gourmand White Flowers. I love this. This is a very, very girly fragrance. This fragrance is inspired by Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb. It is 18% concentrate and the top notes are bergamot, green tea, freesia, and berries. The next one that I have is Powdery Hawthorne. So Powdery Hawthorne is inspired by Tom Ford Metalique. Top notes are aldehydes, neroli, and orange blossom. This is to me is like a going out fragrance. This is like going out to brunch with your girls, going to lunch with your girls. Like that's what this kind of reminds me of. The next fragrance we have is Woody Geranium. Woody Geranium is inspired by Mont Blanc Legend. The top notes are mint, red apple, and pineapple, and it is 15% concentrate. This is what I'm talking about when I tell you a baddie boss B fragrance. This right here. This, this one means business. When you walk in a room, like people are gonna stop and ask you, what are you wearing? <laughs> and you're gonna tell them, dossier, and I got it for the love of. Last but not least, I have Musky Oak Moss. It is also 15% concentrate. It is inspired by Creed Aventus. Top notes are apple, pineapple, and bergamot. This one is the most masculine one out of the four. This is to me is like an evening smell, going on a really expensive date with your boo, going to a steakhouse, ordering a really expensive steak, with lobster tails and shrimp on the side, and please don't forget the dessert. <laughs> That's just, I mean, your perfume has to tell a story, and to me, that is what these tell. Definitely check out Dossier. Look in the description box for the links. They have so many different fragrances. These are just the four that I picked out. Like I said, if you want something light, girly and springy they have it for you if you want something that's very strong commanding when you walk in the room and when you leave the room people still smell you they have something for you too so check them out like i said everything will be linked down below thank you so much to dossier for sponsoring today's video for me and guys on to the vlog Good afternoon and welcome to the vlog. If you are new here, my name is Gina Janine. I like to think of myself as your thick best friend, your neighborhood home girl, because we real around here. We keep it a buck and we don't do none of that fake shit that a lot of these other YouTubers like to do. So if you like what you see in today's vlog, make sure you subscribe, comment, because I always talk back and share my videos with your friends and your family. So, all right guys, I've been starting my videos super late recently. Today is no different. It's two o'clock and I'm just picking the camera up. But I mean, I've been up since. I took the kids to school at 8 a.m. Then I edited a video. Uh, I had to buy some plane tickets. What else I had to do? I cleaned my room a little bit. I cleaned the kitchen. I fell back asleep for about an hour. I just heated some food up. So I'm about to eat. It's gonna be my first time eating for the day. Um, 
after that then i'm gonna like pay a couple bills and that's really it i kind of want to go to i know i need to go to target but i kind of want to go to walmart because i was just told walmart and i think they said kroger has chick-fil-a sauce in store now i don't know if i'm late if i done been under a rock if they've had it for a long time I don't know, but I just heard about it like two, three days ago. Y'all know I have not been grocery shopping in a grocery store in months. I've been doing um, a curbside pickup, ordering the groceries online. So I haven't been inside to know who has what. So I was told there's Polynesian sauce and Chick-fil-A sauce. I think it's just those two because I saw a comment that said they need to make their barbecue sauce as well. Yes, they do. Yeah, they do. They need to bottle it and sell it. And they also said that if you buy it on the um, actual Chick-fil-A website, it's cheap also, like $2.60. So if I can't find it in store, then I might just do that. So that is on my list of things that I might do today. I'm eating. This is from yesterday. I went to the mall yesterday and y'all know how they do. Give you like two full meals in one box. So I got bourbon chicken, orange chicken, and then that's um, fried rice. So I'm about to eat, watch like one or two uh, YouTube videos, get dressed. And that's it. like I said, it's kind of late. The kids are getting out of school in the next hour and a half. And then I got to pick them up from daycare. So yeah, let's get it started. Oh, that food got me like, I tell y'all full, full with the itis. It got me full, but I ain't about to go to sleep. Um, I'm about to Febreze my couches. I have not Febreze my couches since I've been living in this house. So I said I was gonna start back doing that. This is the gain. I don't have company, so I mean, I never felt a reason why <laughs> I needed to do it. When I lived in my other house with my ex, we had company all the time. Look at Ashton. Got her money just sitting in a little plastic bag. Got a whole wallet in her room. But puts her money in a plastic bag because she says she wants to be able to see it. That's why she likes it in the plastic. I know somebody's going to say, you put too much, you put too much. It's fine, girl. It's fine. I don't have company. Nobody really sits on these couches. Ethan don't even sit on these couches. It's so weird. Ashton is the only one who sits on them. I might sit on them for, I don't know, maybe... 15 minutes out the week and then I'm just moving around so much y'all know I'm a busybody or I'll be like in my bed editing cleaning like so nobody even sits on those couches like I said barely have company I got this package at my door and I'm like I didn't order nothing from Zara and then I remembered I ordered something from Poshmark I look crazy in this bonnet like I don't look like I got no hair Baby got a ton of hair. It's just braided down. I really want to do my real hair in a hairstyle. Y'all haven't seen my real hair in a long, long time. Like I really want to do like flexi rods, a twist out, wear it for like mm, two days and then go back to my wigs. Usually when I wash my hair, I wash it. I uh, put it in a twist out for one day. And usually y'all don't see it because I'll put my wig on over my twist out and then I'll get my hair braided and then we just back to the routine. So, but I actually want to wear my real hair out. I just have not done it. Oh my God, in months, since 2020. I actually like took the time, styled it, put really good products in it, wore it big and you know, curly, frizzy, whatever you want to call it. Let me show y'all what I got from um, Poshmark. This is my first time actually purchasing from Poshmark and I had a $20, um, y'all can't even see me, hold on. Let me try to put y'all on top of this. That might help a little bit, it might not, I'm not sure. Anyway, head's still a little bit cut off, but um, I had a $20 credit on Poshmark that they had given me for people signing up through my link. Now, y'all know I've sold on Poshmark a lot, but um, this is my first time purchasing. And this is actually something that I saw in Zara during the Zara sale. I wanted it. It was in my hands. Yep, this is it. 
It was in my hands, uh, in line. Once I got up to the counter, well, first of all, a lady behind me, she was like, you're buying that? And I'm like, yeah. She was like, look, it has dust all over the bottom of it. And the ankle of it was like caked with dust. And I was like, dang, I wonder if this will even come out because this is like sweater material. So when I got to the front, I said, can y'all give me any type of discount for it having like a lot of dust caked on the ankle? She's like, no, we can't because it's already, you know, on sale. It's a $90 jumpsuit and it was on sale for $40. So I was like, well, let me go, go to the other one. They had like three more on the racks. They all had the same stuff caked on the bottom of the ankle. So anyway, need to say, I put it down and I just, it was on my mind for literally all day that day and the next day. So I went back after like 48 hours. Baby, they was all sold out. They only had three or four of them in the store. Maybe three. No, they had four in the store. They were all sold out. Then I went to another Zara. We only got two Zaras in Houston. I went to another Zara. They didn't have none. So I was so upset. So I was checking eBay, Poshmark. And then finally, a few days ago on Poshmark, this gym pops up on there. Let me not even say gym. I've never tried it on. I have no clue how it fits. I'm going to pop a picture of Kyra in the jumpsuit. She, when I saw her wear it, that's what made me really want it. And then with the dust and stuff being caked on the ankle and I was just like, uh, there's no fitting room. I can't even try it on and they won't give me a discount. And I just put it down. So anyway, so out of pocket because I had that $20 credit, I only had to pay $40 plus uh, shipping. So I think it's a win. I, I, you know, I only paid maybe about like $7 more than what I would have paid if I had actually bought it in store that day. But this is how it looks. It's kind of like too hot really to wear it now because like I said, it's, a sweater this is a sweater and look how much it, it stretches so much and it's chocolate brown so cute you get a fragrance thing for this what's this thing called i'm talking about a fragrance thing uh a glade plug-in i think the airwick ones smell better airwick is like a little bit stronger not a little bit stronger a lot stronger so I think that's what I'm going to start buying from now on. This is my little smell good area. Uh, my candles. I got wax warmers. And then I have my um, plug-in refills right here. So I'm going to use this one. What flavor is that? Lavender. Not a huge fan of lavender, but it makes your house smell good. And then I have this candle lit right now. I got this candle from the grocery store on clearance for $5. And it smells so good. It's so strong, surprisingly, because I've never heard of this brand before. It's $3.19 right now. I gotta get a move on. If I'm trying to do anything before I pick the kids up, I need to get a move on. Or uh, they're gonna be riding around with me complaining, when are we going home? When are we going home? We're out too long. I went and got a pedicure yesterday. Why did they make my fake toenail so thick and wide? And I was so like tired. I had worked 10 hours yesterday, picked the kids up, went straight to the nail shop. I was so tired that when uh, she finished and I looked, I was like, it looks a little bit bulkier, but I'm like, whatever, I ain't paying no attention to it. I'm not one of those type of people who's like, watches my nail tech, like fix that, do that, do that. Like, girl, do your thing and then we gonna go but this is just it's too thick so i need to go back this weekend and have them shave it down i really need to go today because i was just in there last night but let me show you guys compared to like my real toenail all right if you can see that's the fake toenail that's my real toenail look how wide and fat and i don't know if you guys can see it's like bubbly like it's like i don't know it's so thick but i'm gonna um see if they can just Shave that down some, like it's just, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I shouldn't have walked out, like that's my fault for walking out with it like that. But I went so late, they were closing. While my nails were drying, my nail tech was leaving, you know? So um, I was like, it's fine, I don't wanna complain. Girl, bye. That's how I play myself. But, um, I also need to go to the ATM and deposit some cash. Because y'all know I don't like having a lot of cash with me. The most I like having in my wallet is like $60, $80. $80.
tops. So I'll pay for everything on my card. Um, Trill gave me Trill gave me some money to pay my bills. And yeah, ladies, get y'all a friend who likes to pay your bills, pay your rent, do anything and everything for you. Get you a friend like that. But um, so yeah, I'm going to deposit that cash a little bit later. See, I do a lot of talking and not enough action. Like I, I, I all this talking that I'm doing, spinning in goddamn circles and shit. I could be getting ready and out the door. All right, y'all, so this is what I'm wearing today. Nothing special at all. This is just a little t-shirt that says, and still I thrive. Um, I got it from Target. They, you know, every Black History Month, they have like a um, black designer section. These are just some um, leggings. And then my furry slides, my bag, literally just a plain, basic little outfit. So I'm about to go run some errands, pick the kids up, and then we're going to be back home so that's about it i got my water the kid's dad is texting me telling me that he just bought them a dog for ethan's birthday and i'm like you know ethan has horrible allergies like horrible y'all remember i showed y'all what he looked like when um yaya stayed at our house for that weekend when my sister went out of town He's allergic to dogs i mean his face just swells up he gets hives on his body so i don't know how that's gonna work out then he gets them a pit bull like a pit bull is not a dog for kids like once that motherfucker gets like six months old it's gonna be all big and swollen and muscular like you can't even cuddle with the dogs like why would you get a pit bull you got a pit bull because you wanted a pit bull not because you wanted to get the kids a dog. You wanted to get the kids a dog that they can just play with, have fun with, roll around with. You would have got them a dog like Yaya. So, I don't know. That's kind of annoying. And then you just hear stories of these dogs turning on their owners. I don't know how often that actually happens, how true it is. I don't know. I'm not an animal person. I'm not a dog person. Um, I just hear about that shit in the news. So... I remember I heard of one where the dog ate the damn newborn baby. This was probably about like three years ago. They left the baby in the little rocker in the living room with the dog. And they came back and the goddamn dog ate the baby. <sighs> I, I, I just, mm, I don't fool with it. So he's all excited about it. The kids are excited. They can't wait to go um, to his house this weekend and see the dog. So whatever so i just got my toe fixed that motherfucker is still super thick it looks better but my goodness she must have just put so much acrylic on it to begin with because the lady filed it and filed it. i mean she filed it a lot and it still looked kind of thick but um i mean it looks better than what it did before so i really don't want to complain too much plus it's friday it was packed in there they got me right in they didn't make me wait at all so and then it's a fake toenail you know it's never gonna be identical to the real thing so that's what i just gotta get in my head like girl this is just something you gotta deal with for the next couple months until your toenail grows all the way back completely so it sucks, but I'm glad it just looks better now. All right, so I'm in Target. Um, just grab a toothbrush. I've been needing for a long time. And then some iced coffee. I'm gonna get off because there's music playing, so. Oh my God, I had no clue these existed. They have an opening in the middle, so your cord from your shower can sit there. <gasps> wow, but that says 22. How pretty is this section? Target sells two packs of jelly beans. Some of these are my favorite ones. Oh my god, I'm in heaven. And they're only $3. Like, that's a steal. So, Target is the new Walmart. Like, how y'all only got two lanes open on a Friday evening? Like, this lane, that lane. Two lanes open. Like, y'all are out of line. Just made it back home. I done ran all them errands. And 
didn't get nothing to eat. <laughs> didn't get nothing for us to eat, so I might have to door dash because I didn't thaw any meat out. Y'all know it's the weekend. Y'all know how I do on the weekend. Y'all done got some some iced coffee. Y'all know I really don't buy iced coffee like that because I know I can get a huge thing of iced coffee from McDonald's for a dollar. So me buying this for four dollars is kind of like. But anyway, so I just bought that. Um, I got this little dessert that looks so good at Whole Foods. It's just called like an almond. What is this thing called? Toasted almond cake. It looks like tiramisu. It's shaped just like tiramisu, but it's almond. So hopefully it's good. Tiramisu is in my top three favorite cakes. There's tiramisu, strawberry shortcake, and bread pudding. Like my favorite favorites. And this is Ashton's. It looks good too. It's like chocolate cake, chocolate mousse. That's for, that's for her. Take a picture. Then I got some tuna. This old $6 tuna for this little tiny thing. But the flavor sounded so good. Lemon and cranberry. I'm like, I'm about to taste it right now. They had traditional, but it looked like it was full of celery. And I hate celery. Then they had lemon and dill, which sounded really good. I should have bought that one too. Then they had this cranberry and lemon. So... Mmm, it smells good. Thank you, baby. Yep. How do you look? They're editing it. This is my final picture. Oh, yeah. It's pretty it's my good. my final picture after editing it. Well, they can't really see it. Good. I don't think it's worth $6. Well, $5.50. With tax, $6. Can I eat some wine? Just a little bit. You haven't had dinner yet. Okay. Yes. It's good. It's good. Put this on a plain rice cake. Baby. That's a snack. The cream is good. Mmm. The cream is so good. That looks good. Mmm. Chocolate is uh, awesome. Picture of this. So, Alfred eat the one. He didn't want it. So, I'm like, okay, fine. Everything goes on TikTok. <laughs> and. Okay, I'm about to do my nails. These are the nails I'm about to put on. Just simple French tip. I don't know why I'm doing something. Why am I doing these basic ass nails? I don't know why I picked these basic ass nails. I want some color. Oh, hell, I'm wasting time just sitting here. I, I ain't got shit to do. I need to call Portia. Portia's in town for the weekend. And I ain't heard from her all day. Last time I talked to her was yesterday. I need to see... I need to see if she's trying to go out and do something. Okay. Let me put these nails on while I wait for her to respond. So these are what the nails are looking like so far. Not that nail, but look how nice, simple, and clean, and classy that looks. That is so nice. And I was talking about why I'm putting these basic nails on. These are like... Wifey nails, even though I ain't trying to be nobody wifey right now. I am not trying to be nobody's wifey right now. I am dating. I am having fun. I am traveling. Sis is about her bag. If you want to share your bag with me too, I will happily share your bag as well. But baby, I am not trying to be in no relationship. I am fresh out of a relationship. Me and my ex-fiance, we broke up um, almost a year ago and we were together for about five years. So for me to really try to jump back down and like be in a serious, committed relationship after I was just in one for five years, engaged for a year and a half, like that doesn't make sense to me. So if y'all see me talking about men and all this and all that, yeah. Cause sis is single. Sis is happily single. Sis is dating. Yeah, your, your bestie is out here living her best life. <laughs> now there is like a main, which is y'all already know, Trill. He's like the main guy who I talk to, but um, we're not in a relationship. We're not committed. I don't charge him up and be like, where you been? Why you ain't call me back? Why this, why that? I text you, why you took you so long to respond? Not like. Not on that type of energy, not on that type of time, because I don't want it done to me. 
I don't do it to him. Like, like we out here enjoying each other and enjoying life. And that's just that on that. Have y'all heard the new allegations about T.I. and Tiny? Of course, we didn't all heard the stories that came out like about a month ago, but the New York Times, not a blog, not one of these gossip sites, the New York Times just released an article today, well, last night, about them. <sighs> one of these girls was telling her story. She's like an Army or Navy vet. She has pretty much the same type of story as all the other girls. Met them uh, when she was young and, and you know, dumb and impressionable. Uh, they whisked her up like real quick, gave her drinks that tasted funny, pills. Then they said T.I. tried to R-A-P-E her with his feet. His feet, y'all. New York Times article, read it. I, reading all these details, I was like, oh my God, they're sick. Like, I knew they were sick on some Bill Cosby level type sick, but this might be, like, you You tried to you try to do that with your, with your toes, man? Then she said that she just woke up in so much pain down there with the bodyguards beating on the door saying, get the fuck out. Oh, Lord. I, I have no words. I have no words. I can't listen to his music. Just like I can't listen to R. Kelly's music anymore. Like, I just, I can't. I can't. I was one of those who saw the tape uh, when it first came out back, you know, in the, um, in the early 2000s. Still liked his music. Knew it was him, but <sighs> was one of, I was like everybody else, like, he not convicted of it, he ain't going to jail. Like he's still coming out with music, so it kind of went by the wayside. Now that he's in jail and like, he like, <laughs> I'm like, I can't listen. He's like really a monster. And I'm older now and I really, you know, I look at my own kids and I'm like, I can't imagine the girl on that video being my 14 year old child. So I can't listen to his music anymore. Sometimes you can separate the artist from the art and just like the music, but not like purse. I don't know, it's it's hard for me right now. I whenever I'm listening to um Pandora, I just skip over his music. So I'm I'm not I'm I'm not there right now. I can't separate the two yet. T.I. and Tiny, their show, like I literally thought they were like not couple goals, but um I'm like they love each other. Like the way that they're um they're raising their kids like just strong young men. And I know what T.I. did with his daughter being an overprotective dad and going to her like gynecologist appointment. I'm like, he has something wrong with him. But you know, then he went on the radio and explained and you know, we kind of like, okay, whatever. That's, he's, that's crazy, but we'll let it slide. But this, I can't, I cannot. I can't listen to his music the same. Watch your kids, guys. Even if y'all got daughters who are 21, 22, I mean, they're still young and impressionable. Like we we gotta, our, our, our babies are our babies forever, no matter how old they are. And we just gotta teach them to like, yes, yeah, a celebrity, but nobody has your best intentions except for you. Even your best friend. You might go out, try to go out with your best friend. You get drunk, your best friend might leave you for a nigga. <laughs> you know, leave you drunk in an Uber and they go off with their boyfriend. So, I mean, just, I don't know. We just got to start um, teaching our kids to just look out for for, for um, the red flags and try to get out of uncomfortable situations, you know. Oh, goodness gracious. But they're sick. They 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 definitely need to pay for this. They, they got to pay. And I ain't talking about money. I'm talking about you need to get convicted and you got to pay with, with your time and your freedom. Baby, these, these nails? Why was I tripping at first with my white toes? Girl, okay, Um, I need to go stock up on these. This is the, uh, the one style that I always see in there. Just a little tiny petite French tip, I be trying to get all the shit with the glitter, the designs, the different colors. 
it literally looks like I got my it looks like I went and got my nails done at the nail salon y'all can't tell me that I didn't go get my nails done yesterday when I got my feet done like wow just did Ashton's nails too she wanted some black and white nails so I just did her nails um it's 10 15 the kids are hungry the kids are kind of hungry i'm really not hungry but i know we need to eat and it is late 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 um usually on weekends like i told you guys i don't cook very usually fridays and sundays i really don't cook at all saturdays i might cook but um yeah weekends are like toss up uh i'll either order food we'll go out to eat or i just make a quick meal which a quick meal is like hamburger helper nuggets and french fries frozen pizza you know stuff like that so the kids said they don't want anything that we have at the house they want to go to chili's so i'm taking my babies to chili's so let me put on some perfume i'm gonna put on my um i'm gonna put on my tom ford jasmine musk y'all this smells so good i haven't worn it in a while but um off of off Saks Fifth Avenue, which is Saks Fifth Avenue. Um, it smells so good. Mm. If you can just imagine Jack, like this has the jasmine smell, like it's light, it's feminine, um, but it's not like too like girly girly. I can't explain it, but jasmine must. I got it for a impeccable price, like a amazing price. 70% discount, like crazy. So y'all don't y'all aren't signed up for their email list. Y'all are missing out. They do their friends and family um discount, I wanna say like every like maybe two, three months. I'm ready. Turn off lights and TVs, please. Oh. No, they are not asleep. No, they're not mad. They're on their phones. On their phones. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you too. Huh? What? What? Y'all, I got me a pineapple. I look homeless. I look like a mama mama today. Look at me. My sweater on. I am a mama mama. I've been a mama since I'm 16, but I look like a mama mama. Anyway, I needed a pineapple margarita. I'm only going to have one because I have my little angels with me. But um, I probably, if y'all weren't here with me, I probably would finish this and drink another one, but I'm not gonna do that. Um, I'll, it's a grown up drink, and I have to drive you guys home. Mind your business, ma'am. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, it's a pineapple margarita. It is so good. When I tell you guys so good, it's new on their menu. They have a new five dollar like Jack Daniels blueberry drink she was telling me about, but I was like, let me just stick to clear. Um, that dark, I really don't fool with, so. Happy Saturday, guys. It's about 12, 10, something like that. All of my clocks are fast, like four or five minutes fast. So it's about 12, 10. Um, about to go drop the kids off with their dad. Um, I don't really have anything to do today. I really need to record like some sponsored content. Um, I need to go get a car wash. I need to go to the ATM and deposit more money that I just got. I need to go to, what's that place called? Target and do a return. But like none of it has to be done today. Like that's just stuff that I are on my list, but it doesn't like have to be done. It's like no deadline. It could be done tomorrow if need be or later on today. But that's it on my list. I don't have a wig on, so I'm looking quite crazy. Okay, I'm finally about to try to put my window mount up. It's a glass suction. That is huge. That's big. All right. Well, where's the part where my camera attaches to? This must. Maybe this is it. They done gave me a little screwdriver, some screws. The hell is that for? Cause you know, black folks, we don't read instructions. 
Oh, Lord. Another clamp right there. Oh, my God. I might have to read instructions. Come on. Let me across. Let me across. Thank you. Okay, and I'm hungry. No, Regina, don't go buy nothing. Don't go buy nothing. You have leftovers from last night and the night before. Eat your leftovers. Save your money. But I do have enough points at Starbucks to get a free sandwich, though. I think I have enough points to get a free sandwich and a free drink, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, I could get something free. Or I could just save it for another day where I don't have leftovers at the house. I, I need to eat my leftovers because, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right, about to get my leftovers. Ooh, I forgot I had this from yesterday. Let me set that out. I might eat that a little bit later. Okay, so I made um, tacos the other day. Y'all know I really don't eat the shell when I eat tacos. So I just kind of made mine into like a bowl. So that's ground turkey, cilantro rice, some peppers and onion, black beans. And I'm about to heat this up. And I'm just going to put a little bit of sour cream, cheese and salsa on it and eat it straight out the bowl. Less carbs. Let's see, is this hot? Nah, that ain't hot enough. One more minute. looks so good then i mix it all up do y'all keep y'all's try to be have it plated all cute and nice and neat mm -mm. not me i'm gonna mix it because this is how i'm gonna eat it it's a bowl I'm, I'm mixing it everything together i wish i had some a little bit of lettuce to put in there mm, 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 mm. the kid's dad just sent me a video of them seeing the dog for the first time Get him down before it pees. See, it peed already. Aww. Get down, Mama. Aww. Get down, Mama. How old is she? Six weeks. Y'all, this looks nasty after I mixed it up. But it tastes so good. Mmm. I look like a homeless person. It's good. So before I drop my kids off, I always say, clean up upstairs, TV's off, lights off, everything off, get everything you need because I ain't turning the car. You know, just, we go through a whole checklist. Please tell me why. Oh, you guys can't even see. But there's a fan on up there and there's a light on up there. After I went through the checklist, it's so I don't have to walk upstairs. I walk upstairs during the week. On weekends, I'm not trying to walk up these stairs, especially when they're not here. Oh God, let me get these steps in for the day. I told, oh my God, see, it's my, it's my fault. Cut that light off. I told Ethan, I said, clean your room and make your bed up. He said, okay. He cleaned his room but he did not make his bed up. So once your bed is not, and he left his fan on. When your bed's not made, your entire room looks like crap. So let's see what Miss Ashton, let's see what her room looking like. Bed not made up. Stuff all over her floor. Look at this. Bed not made up. Clothes on the floor. All kind of stuff on her dresser. Like, what? what is going on? Empty box of chocolate. Like, what is there? Empty box of chocolate on the ground. I'm not cleaning it up. Game room looks like pure crap. Look at this. How my table breaking? Oh, and I'm just, the TV's on. How did I miss that? Look at that trash. This, this don't make no sense. Somebody's not getting allowance. They, they, y'all not getting y'all full allowance this week. Like, 
No, this this just doesn't make no sense. Then they be asking me, when does the maid come? Is the maid coming this week? It don't matter when she coming. I pay for it. That's for me. That's to help me out. That ain't for y'all. The hell? All right, y'all. So this is the outfit. These are those um, Ross leggings I always tell you guys about. I think I've shown them to you guys in like every video, but I have so many pairs. I just, I wear them all the time. Um, this is a Zara cropped sweatshirt that I got on clearance during their sale. I think I got it for like 12 or $15 and it was originally 40. So yeah, then I got on my LV earrings, my new LV cap. This is the one that I told you guys, I didn't know if I was going to keep it, return it, what I'm like, the money is spent. I might as well just keep it. So I'm wearing it today. So now it's mine, officially mine. <laughs> Then I got on my um, fanny. Then I got on my Gucci socks. And then I don't like these shoes really with this outfit, but I don't have any other shoes that are like brown or tan. These are the only ones, they're cream. This is what I'm wearing. I mean, I guess the cream goes with the um, straps of the bag. I don't know. I really just wasn't feeling it. But this today's outfit, I'm about to go get me a car wash. I have an appointment. Um, with an injector, a new injector that I found on Instagram. Y'all know I usually go to the doctor who did who uh, did my tummy tuck. Uh, he's been doing my lips for three years now. And, but uh, sometimes in the middle, if I see somebody on Instagram, I'll go try them out. So this will be like the third new person that I've tried out. She won't even give me pricing. So I might not be getting anything done today because I need to know prices. <laughs> so yeah, so that's on the agenda, car wash, injections and whatever else the wind might take us i wanted to wear a necklace but i thought it would be like doing too much with the earrings i got a hat on <sighs> i'm not even wearing a watch or anything i don't know i just didn't want to do like too too much i'm gonna put on some good old tom ford costa azura this one i got at um the offset clearance too this one is very masculine this one definitely can be um, unisex, 100%. So I, I'm just like, you know, I got all this design on, all these logos. I'm about to go get my lips done. I just, I don't know, I kind of want to smell bossy. I'll do all that, then I'm going to take my ass in DDs and spin the bag. <laughs> you got to have balance, ladies. Definitely you can spend a bag on all this designer shit that you don't even get to wear all that much. But then you get the leggings and you rack up, get you like six, seven pairs at a time. Like, anyway, uh, yes, I need to see. Oh, I'll be able to test out my camera mount. Fingers crossed. Oh, I got to take this back to Target. Okay, I'm about to put y'all down. I got too much stuff in my hands now. Uh oh, we got action, y'all. We got action. Y'all are on my windshield. <laughs> oh, okay. Now I just need to adjust the placement of it. I think this is good, though. I think this is good. Sixty dollars of gas. I wasn't even all the way on E. God damn. The angle's not bad. Y'all not underneath me looking at my double chin and shit. Ah, I'm so happy. I should have been did this a long time ago. Wow. Wow, game changer. I'm going around a, a curve right now. Look, y'all not sliding. Let me go around this other curve real quick. but it's like a kid with a new toy like i should have been done this wow and when i tell y'all it's like sturdy sturdy it says it holds up to 100 pounds and this camera ain't nothing but not probably not even a pound so i just got here <sighs> these are my before lips they already still look nice and full but i just need a little Mm. Mm. That's really all I need. I just need like edges. Touch ups.
body bumping. Hey. swollen so they're gonna be looking crazy uh, for the next two to three days so but um yes black girls get their lips done if y'all didn't know black girls get their lips done I've been getting mine done for years years before I even started um YouTube <laughs> I've been getting my lips done so I don't know y'all probably couldn't tell because once the um swelling and the redness goes away it looks just like normal lips so some people like this like duck lip, but mm -mm. I like the way it looks once everything is all calmed down, so. But thank goodness we're wearing masks still because when I go into a store, I don't wanna be looking crazy. And I'll probably bruise. Well, not probably, I know I will bruise. Every time I get my lips done, I bruise, so. But she did good. Literally, I was like, I, she, I, I, she did good. I can tell when it heals. She might be my new lady. Turn right. I might not be going to um, my plastic surgeon no more. I, she might be my new lady. And they had a special going on. I only paid five fifty. Five fifty is cheap. Like for filler, Juvederm Plus. That's cheap. So. Nine hundred feet. Turn right on Shepherd Drive. And when I say so, so, so sweet, so gentle, answered every Turn question. Shut up, God damn, ways. But yeah, she just very, very, very sweet. I really like her. The location was beautiful, smelled good. The front desk girl was nice. Everybody, it was very nice. So, um, yeah, she might be my new lady. But I just found out I have a whole syringe at my plastic surgeon at Dr. Doe's office because the last time I had my lips done, which was maybe five months ago, something like that. I usually try to get my lips done like every um, four to five months, like twice a year. So he had a special going on and I bought two syringes because I was like, oh my God, the deal is so good. So I have a whole syringe sitting at Dr. Doe's office. But when I saw her Instagram, I was like, oh my God, I need to book with her. So, um, wow, I'm just impressed. So, but I don't want to talk too much because it's very swollen. I'm in pain <laughs> and I'm trying to follow a GPS. So let me go. I'll pick y'all back up in a minute. All right. We at DD's now y'all. Um, uh, like I was saying, I got to respond to this text message real quick, but, um, we're at DD's. I have to get a, um, shower caddy the one from yesterday did not work out i was so pissed i just knew the one from target was gonna work and it didn't and and i gotta get a rug for my bathroom because the one that's right by my toilet i washed it and for some reason like the rubbery traction underneath it like all came off in the washing machine or the dryer or something so now when you step on it you damn near about to slide and bust your ass depending if there's a lot of people in here will depend on if i film on the inside so weird it feels like my camera lens is like making a clicking noise damn sure I don't have time for that to be happening I need to go straight to the red section get what I need and go yes I got some candles going on a little candle selection who is this man Hobo? who is this man <laughs> Who is that? That's about right. How cute is this? 
This will be cute, like over a, uh, a toilet, maybe. Go to hell. Go straight to hell. <laughs> Y'all know Dee Dee's literally has everything. Good. That's good for some honey. That's actually really cheap. This is actually a really good deal for these fabric softeners because y'all know I buy mine from CVS, and at CVS the regular price is like um four dollars. So 250 is, is a really good deal. Oh, this is pretty. This looks good. It's zero everything. Zero calories, sugar carbs. Hmm. Oh my god, this looks good too. Okay, so I did find a rug. Um, I found a little shower caddy, but I I'm don't think it's gonna work. I don't know why I'm being negative. I don't think it's gonna work. I think it's gonna sit way too low, but for the price, I was like, let me just go ahead and grab it and try it out. I can always return it and get my little six dollars back. But um I'm about to go across the street to Marshall's since it's right there. But I think I'm going to go to Starbucks first. I got to pee so bad. Dee Dee's, one thing about Dee Dee's, no bathrooms. Every Dee Dee's I've been to, and like I said, there's five Dee Dee's within like a 10 mile radius of my home. None of them have bathrooms. So that is the one downfall. If you want to shop at Dee Dee's, you got kids with you, or yo, you got to pee. Ain't no public bathroom and none of them. So, <laughs> yeah. So I'm about to go on Marshalls and pee first and then see if they have another selection of shower caddy. Like, I, I just, I so hate that I am having such a hard time finding a shower caddy. I did not think it was gonna be like this. And I'm not finding any of the ones that just, that hang like a hook over top of your shower. Like I said, maybe I got that, my old ones, out of like the stationary section or like the home. I, I don't know. But in the ba um, bedding and bath section of all the places I've been to, there's none that just hang over top of your shower door. So it's it's been frustrating. Then the kind that have suction, for some reason, it's not sucking. It's not sticking. I, I, I'm just totally confused. <laughs> Shit is frustrating, y'all. Like, for real, for real. I think I'm going out tonight. I ain't heard from Portia. I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna hit her up. Well, it seemed like she would have hit me up if she wanted to go out. So maybe I won't hit her up. I hit her up yesterday. And she was with her family out to eat, so... If she wanna go out, I'm sure she'll hit me tonight. Um... But I'm just gonna probably go meet my other friends out. This thing pretty much is melted already. She said no drinking out of a straw for two weeks. I'm like, girl, what? Two weeks? I usually just wait 24 hours, but if you say so. She's like in no aggressive um, movements with your mouth. Clearly she means sucking that D. Cause what other aggressive movements with your mouth would you be doing? Hmm, I'll wait. <laughs> I don't wear lashes, but look how pretty. Y'all can't even see the full wispiness. Like, wow. Those are my beauty supply, but these, they're so wispy. Oh my gosh. That's cheap. Ooh, found some more Aunt Jackie's. I think I'm gonna get this. Y'all know at TJ Maxx the other day, I had found the um, curl gel. What is this? Conditioning cleanser. Oh, co-wash. This is it right there. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna get this one. That's a good price for makeup removers. $2? That's a good deal. This one's open. It's a dollar, but that's a good deal if they want open. But these are flushable wipes, a two pack for a dollar. Oh, I think I'm about to buy these. How many come in? 25 in each pack? I hope they not dried out. But for a dollar, I'm gonna try it. Oh, look at this. See, I'm gonna need a basket. An eight pack of face masks on clearance for $3.50. Eight pack. That's a good deal. Oh my God. Okay, now I can shop. I feel so much better. Look at these pillows. That's like the perfect color for my bedroom. They're only $10 each, but I don't need them. Okay, so this is something what I need. And I just happened to run across this just on the aisle. I wonder if this would work. I'm gonna try it. Now that's a good deal for um gourmet coffee syrups and they're big size. Caramel pecan, vanilla, salted caramel for two dollars. When does this expire? And look y'all, that it doesn't expire until March, no, August of 2022. So I'm my Yo, look at all these nails. Okay, now I should be using my mount, but I took it off because I thought I was getting a car wash and now it's underneath all of these shopping bags. So I'm gonna do like a little mini haul for y'all whenever I get home. I feel like I've been out all day. I just got a grilled cheese. Let's see how it looks. Ooh, that thing buttery and crispy. Mm. And then I got a strawberry acai refresher. This little thing was $5. Remind me never to buy this again, like $5. It's so good though, but $5 for a strawberry lemonade? Cause that's all it is. Woo. Woo, I haven't eaten all day. I'm so hungry. I need some like real food. Oh, my lips hurt. Ooh, my lips hurt. Mmm. Mmm. I gotta eat this off camera. Oh shit. So he got injections all in his face. Liquid from falling out. They gave the patient two tubes of the glue to take home. 
Dr. Scott Glassberg, president of the American Society of Plastic Surgery, said illegal, illegal cosmetic procedures are on the rise among people hoping for a Kim Kardashian rear end while looking to save money. That can be harmful because, mm-hmm. but she, I remember she, uh, she was the one, you gotta see her uh, mugshot. I mean, is this is a mugshot. Girl, send it to me. Yeah, Wee Wee, that was her name. They went to Wee Wee. For real. I can't believe people are still getting it done to this day, though. Yeah. You know, what's the name? Just had it done. Just had it done. Um, True. Uh, uh, what's his name? The rapper's baby mama. Um, Jania. Her name is Jania. Uh, NBA, NBA yeah. Young Boy's baby mama. She just had it done like the end of 2020. Like, why are people still, you know, like the risk, the long-term side effects? Yeah, it might look good for about seven, eight years, but... Why do you think women are going through surgery to get that shit removed and you still gonna get it done? And she got money. She got money. So it's like, girl, you could do a book and a hosting and you could just get you a little skinny BBL. It's not gonna be all huge and stuff, but you can get you a little tiny little BBL. Okay, you even Have you seen her body? I mean, she looks good, but it's like so she much. Looks damn good. Yeah, she looks she look good. But just 10 years from now, I mean, she only 21. Ten years from now, then what? Your butt gonna be green and blue, and you are gonna be getting your ass sliced open to get it removed, like all these other Instagram models. Did you see? Uh, 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 what's her name? Uh, Tay Michelle had to tell. Why, remember, she was on that video in her baggy booty. Yeah. And, um, she was, and she gave an explanation of why it looked like that. Shitload of procedures to have it removed. So because she had it removed, um, it left loose skin. It left loose skin, right? Her, so she probably has to kind of get like a back lift. You know, like women who lose a bunch of weight and their butt skin sags. So I bet it's kind of like a back lift where they pull it up. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. See, all that getting cheap butt shots and you got to go through all that years down the line. Like, I just, I, girl, I don't understand why women still getting it done in 2021. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, so you know we, while they were still dancing. Right. I, I, I seen she was 18. I, I remember exactly. throwing money on her at 18. stuff that I got but y'all ain't see everything got some fabric softeners they were 250 each I thought that was a good deal because usually downy fabric softeners at CVS are like $5.99 this one smells real like masculine I really like this one and this is baby powder never had a baby powder um fabric softener so I'm like let me try both of those then just some uh, Clorox dryer sheets. They were on sale for $1.99. So I'm like, can't leave that. Then this is a, it goes like on your hand, like it slides on your hand and it cleans your makeup brushes. This was on clearance for $2.99 from Dee Dee's. All of these items were from Dee Dee's that I'm showing y'all so far. And this is just a brown, y'all know I love brown tan neutral colors. And it's one of those soft one size fits all shirts. Um... This was on clearance for $2.99 from Dee Dee's. I love that color. Then I just got a bathroom rug. Nothing special. I mean, it's really, really soft. It's just a, um, a tannish color. It was $4.99 from Dee Dee's. So this just gonna go right in front of my toilet. Nothing special, nobody gonna see it. Uh, now, I told y'all I've been having issues with like shower caddies and stuff. So this is the shower caddy that I got, and it has the hooks to hang. You can either do it like this and hang it over top of your spout, where your spout comes right here, or you can hang it to where it's hanging over your door, your shower door. So that's the way I'm gonna use it, to hang over the door. If it works out, cause y'all know, it's just been a whole hot mess. Then I got this little mini shower caddy to hang where the spout is, the um, where you adjust the, turn the water on and off. 
So I was thinking about hanging it right there because it's so small and short and to see if that'll work. I don't know, we're gonna try it. And then I just bought another sticky one. Hopefully, maybe it'll work. I don't know, but I'm gonna keep one of these and then the other two will be going back tomorrow. Next, oh, and then the prices on these, if y'all care, this is from Marshall's, $12.99. This is from Dee Dee's, $4.99. And then this white one is Marshall's, $12.99. Next, I feel like I bought up so much clearance stuff at Marshalls, like crazy. Oh, this was also um, Dee Dee's. I showed y'all zero sugar, zero calories, zero carbs, lemon elderberry by Skinny something. Skinny drink mix, it was $3.99. So when I make my drink tonight, I'll be putting some of this in it. And this is from Marshalls also. This is by that same company that I just showed you. This came from Dee Dee's, but it's by the same company. On clearance for two dollars these skinny syrups these are coffee syrups zero calorie zero sugar I said this is like too good of a deal for me to pass up y'all know I drink coffee but I'm not a coffee drinker if you understand what that means like I could drink coffee one day a week I ain't gotta have it every single day so me paying full price, spending a lot of money on coffee stuff, that's not gonna happen because like I said, I drink coffee, but I'm not a coffee drinker. All right, so this one I found on that same clearance rack. This size is a little bit bigger and it's still that same skinny syrups, zero everything. This was on clearance for $1.50. All of this stuff, it don't expire till 2022, honey, okay? Then I just bought these little um, cups. They're 18. Cups, the flavor is chocolate peanut butter. It might be nasty, I'm not sure. But we are gonna try it out. It was on clearance for $3. And then this one doesn't expire till November, 2021. That's the brand. I don't know if that's a good brand or not. Like I said, I'm, it's not that big of a deal to me, the brand and all that, because I'm not a huge coffee drinker. And I showed y'all these, these pumpkin face masks. They're sheet masks. Eight sheet masks, and they were on clearance for three dollars. I said you can't beat that with a stick. Then I got all of these aiolis. These all don't expire till twenty twenty two. I love aiolis, so I got a everything aioli. I bet this one's good. Then I got a buffalo ranch, and then a jalapeno aioli. These were all on clearance for a dollar. Original price was three ninety nine. Got them for a dollar. Those are gonna be good on sandwiches, burgers. You could dip your french fries in them. Like, I love aiolis. Then this is the Aunt Jackie's Leave-In Conditioner. Got this for Ashton. Let me put that over there with the hair stuff. Then I don't know if y'all heard of like Ray Dunn. Ray Dunn has like a bunch of like home, home wear stuff. So I found these on the clearance thing. They're Ray Dunn car air fresheners. And they were on clearance for $2.50. So I'm like, okay, let me try them out. They're, they're cute. This scent is gardenia. This scent is uh, tropical. Then they also had a lavender scent and I left that there because I'm not just too huge on lavender. Then I bought these Bobo's um, granola snacks. Never had them before. I don't know if they're like gluten-free or I don't know. It just says fresh baked, baked with love. Okay, they're gluten-free, non-GMO. But anyway, they expire in June of 2021 and they were on clearance for a dollar each. I'm gonna have to look up how much these cost in the grocery store, so. But I thought that was good for just, you know, five pack of granolas. I could eat them, the kids could eat them. Then I got some dry shampoo and it's by Sephora. Uh, this I can just spray on my wigs. Like tonight, if I'm going out, I can just spray this in my hair. It'll help your hair smell good and it'll give it a little bit more body again. Oh, I'm like getting out of breath showing you guys everything because I'm trying to go so fast. Then I think I showed y'all these earlier. They're just um, peppermint um, wipes. They're flushable butt wipes. <laughs> That's what it says on there, flushable butt wipes. It's a two pack and they were on clearance for a dollar. Next, got some uh, deodorant. It's by 7th Generation. Y'all know 7th Generation. Um, they sell like all natural products so it just says on a mission to protect our planet's water 100% biodegradable 
plant-based ingredients and this was on clearance for a dollar so i'm like deodorant for a dollar Hun. and yes it's brand new it still has a little plastic on top then i got just a pack of lip oil so i'm like i needed some um you know like lip gloss that didn't have a color to it because all my lip glosses have color to them so i'm like this is some lip oil with vitamin e and argon oil so i'm like i think these would make my lips look like really shiny and juicy they were only $2.99 for a three pack of lip oil and lastly i got press on nails so these are just some little cute i really like these they have little jewels on them then these are clear with like dots and stars and stuff and they were both on clearance for two dollars that's it that's my little mini haul all right so i'm about to put this stuff away i'm about to get dressed do my makeup because i'm about to meet up with portia we're gonna go hang out somewhere and it's already past 10 o'clock because i've been on the phone with jennifer forever so child me and her talking about butt injections lip injections all kind of just going from subject to subject bbls like <laughs> she said that she wants to go to the lady who did my lips today so she wants her to um to do her filler let me get a move on just made my drink so i can get ready this is the kettle one i don't know what flavor but anyways kettle one is low sugar then i use that lemon low sugar mixer that i just bought today a splash of grenadine and a little bit of water and it's good I got a drink on the side like this because you can't pucker your lips when you just get them done so got a drink like this and suck <laughs> oh that's good I needed a drink mm, I needed that okay this is the look let me show y'all real quick before my battery dies this unit i've been wearing um this um layered chain necklace these silver hoop earrings from ross this is from pretty little thing my crop jacket is from pretty little thing these leggings are from bershka i got these in the dominican republic like two years ago these boots are from h m and then my prada bag and then I just need to put on some rings and a necklace. I mean, and a bracelet and probably my um my Rolex. So this the look, y'all. About to go meet up with Portia. So yeah, she wasn't wearing heels, and I'm sad. I ain't about to wear heels either. Like y'all know I don't wear them unless it's required. So combat boots it is. <laughs> happy sunday y'all oh my bruising yeah my lip is bruising now sorry i sound like a, um my voice got some bass in it because i haven't talked today i've been up for a while but this is my first time talking which is to y'all so um i'm about to clean my house like my bathroom is a hot mess a hot mess just look this is me. I was trying on outfits last night. Bed is messed up. And then, you know, yeah, baby, I'll give you a couple rock. But I'm watching Soft you White Underbelly. And beat on and pay. That Soft White Underbelly. Very, very good uh, YouTube channel. They just talk about, like, people, like, homeless people, prostitutes, rape victims, heroin addicts, crack addicts. They just always uh, interview people who are, like, struggling and on the streets. But anyway, this is how my bathroom looks. Y'all know my bathroom usually doesn't look like this. And to some people, this might not look bad. But, to me. So, anyway, I'm about to clean my face off. Clean my makeup off. Because I passed out last night. Clean my bathroom. Then I'm probably going to pick y'all back up. Because I'm about to heat me up some food after I'm done with that. Oh, Lord. I want to try on these clothes that, um, that I got from Pretty Little Thing. I want to show y'all. So, I'll probably try those on a little bit later. 
But let me clean so I can get this day started. Let me blast some music. Turn on my favorite station. Y'all already know my Luther Vandross station. My Foxy Brown station. And my Raphael Sadiq station. Those are my, ooh, those are my three stations. And perfect for a Sunday. Just chill. But I'm probably going to finish listening to that, listen to some music. So I'll pick y'all back up in a moment. Okay, so I ordered some pieces from um, Pretty Little Thing. No, this is not sponsored. I paid for this with my own coin. Um, but they have like a dupe skims line. And um, it's called their second skin line. And it's supposed to be like skims. And everything comes in like sets. Well, you buy it separately, but it comes in sets. So y'all watch. If y'all know who Time the Infamous is, she did a haul review on this line. And it's supposed to fit just like skim. So I got some pieces. I'm going to try it on for you guys. And if you like them, they will all be linked down below. So let's see how they fit. I had actually um, ordered this line about a month ago. But a lot of the stuff was too big. So yeah. <laughs> so I had to reorder everything in... Um, different sizes because yeah when you order this stuff guys size down size down so i got the pants all in it's uk 12s which i think are us eights but they so stretchy like does it say us eight yeah us eight and then the tops us eight us eight so i got everything in us eight so i'm just saying guys size down because i thought i'd be able to wear us 10 no it was all too big so, all right, let me put this stuff on. Oh, I forgot I had two more pieces in my closet. But y'all, did I order the exact same color? Did I order the exact same thing twice? By mistake. I think I did. They're named two different things. But I think I ordered the same one. Unless, I don't know. I, I know I ain't, well, I, I need to check my receipt. Because that's crazy, so... Anyway, they're literally the exact same shade, the exact same size, both bodysuits. So one of these bad boys will be added to that pile for y'all to buy. <laughs> and there's a couple more over here in this pile that um, like these were too big, too big, too big. So y'all will be getting some for the low low whenever I list this stuff. Don't hold me to it because in January I said I was going to list in January. February I said I was going to list it. We now into March baby. We at like March 9th. So just be on the lookout. Okay now I'm going to try this stuff on for you. And my Zara um, anyway I'm going to also try this on. This is that Zara um, jumpsuit that I got from uh, Poshmark. So, if you guys care, I'm going to try it on too. I can't link it because it is sold out. Oh, I love it. It's so cute, y'all. Look. Look how it makes the booty pop just because it's like cinched in. Super cute. Uh, I wish it was maybe like mm, an inch or two longer. Maybe two inches longer. But I'm going to wear some boots with it or some like strappy um, lace-up heels. So, that's all right. The sleeves are even a little bit short, but I'm going to stack some bracelets with it. I always tell you guys, Zara, something about their sleeves. Their sleeves are weird. They're usually never long enough for me. I'm tall, so I always have the issue, but I'm going to stack up some bracelets. I can even just push the sleeves up. Look, push the sleeves up and that's it. Super cute. I'm glad. I'm so happy I got it. Like, I'm so happy. I should have bought it in store when I first seen it. But anyway, I done told y'all that story already. So that's this one. Love it. Ooh, I love this so much. Okay. Wow. Uh, I'm impressed. I've never owned any skims. I've never felt any skims. But they say that this is... Oh, goodness. They say that this is um literally skims dupe exact like... That is a good thick material. The size eight fits so good, so good. I could have returned all that stuff because you can um, send your stuff back to them free of charge, but I was being lazy. So like I said, I'm just gonna put the ones that's too big on Poshmark. But this fits good, y'all. This is a bodysuit, high rise leggings. Um, I wish the leggings were a little bit longer on me, but y'all know I'm tall, so I deal with that with everything. So. It's cool. This is amazing. 
Oh my God. It feels so good. Oh my goodness. And everything, um, all of their stuff comes with either the uh, sleeveless bodysuit, the crop tops, or how this one is the long sleeve bodysuit. So you can mix and match, you know, what you, what you want. Baby, I, I can't wait to wear this. Okay, this is the next one. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry. I can't help it. I can't help it. I was born this way. But um, this is the next one. So I did this one with a crop top. It is very cropped. Very cropped. So this is the eight. I wish I had have gotten it in a 10. Maybe it would have been a little bit longer. But um, I'll probably just wear this. Y'all know how I do. With a denim jacket over top of it. Or a grandpa sweater. So these actually look a little bit shorter, which is weird because they're the same size as the other ones. But um, yeah, they're slightly shorter. But that's not an issue. I'm still going to rock it. So, all right, this is the next one. All right, this is the next one. I think I like this shade of brown the best. Like, I really, really like this. I really do. So cute classy you could dress this up you could dress it down like really really cute it kind of have like um uh, the hanger was hanging across here so it kind of made like a little line but i'm not gonna complain about it super cute now i did get um the crop top also so this is the crop top i got it in the same color as well so i can just switch them out if i want to and then i'm not gonna try these two on because I didn't get the bottoms to go with these. I didn't get the bottoms to go with this one because I'm like, it's so light in color that I feel like it would show on my cellulite and on my dimples. But if you wanted to, you could probably like mix and match these with the leggings, you know. So, and then this one, chocolate brown. I really wanted these leggings, but they didn't have my size. So they had a size six, but I was like, uh, that's pushing it so and i'm glad i didn't do it because the eights fit so good y'all i'm gonna link everything down below like this is definitely worth it i think the tops they're on sale now let me turn y'all around uh the girl who did the review on these her video went viral and that was probably about two months ago like i said her name's time the infamous just look on her channel um her video went viral so a lot of sizes are out but they still had them like, you know, this package just came in the mail a couple days ago, probably like five days ago. So they definitely still have it. And they got, got plus size, goes up to 3X. And uh, yeah, they was on sale. I think I just ate my Chili's leftovers from um, Friday night. Mm, it was so good. So good. Y'all know I'm leftover queen. If you don't want to take your leftovers home, passing to me I'm, I'm gonna take it i'm gonna add it to this doggy bag and we gonna have a whole little spread a whole little buffet okay y'all my lips look so juicy this is that um lip oil that i showed you guys i got from uh marshall's this is my first time using a lip oil usually lip gloss which is thick and sticky this is just girl this is like thin and it still has your lips looking juicy and moisturized so excuse my pimple this thing just will not go away like yeah it's getting on my nerves and she won't let me be great she a hater i think i'm about to do my hair i got three hours before i gotta get the kids so i think i'm about to do my hair and i think i'm gonna do those returns or maybe i'll wash another load of laundry or maybe i'll lay here and watch youtube videos I don't know. Okay, I just got done recording this You Nice Hair. Hopefully, this um, sponsorship will be in this video. If not, if not, it might be in the video before this. I'm not really sure. Y'all know how I go with sponsorships. Mm, anyway, yeah, this is You Nice Hair. This hair is gorgeous. I crimped it. Oh my God, my hand was like throwing up gang signs as I'm crimping my hair. I did not know it took this long to crimp hair. 
Bernie warned me in her video she said it takes forever and ma'am it does the crimps look beautiful like this is so pretty but my hand was crimping and cramping while I was doing my hair so I hope these last for a while I wonder how long this gonna last but I will also link my hot comb I will link my crimper these are from Amazon, super cheap. I feel like that hot comb was about $14. I think the crimper was about 25. It's been like over a year now since I bought it, but I'll link it down below in the description box. Um, so yeah, now I'm about to clean up all this mess. Y'all know, <laughs> it probably don't look messy to the average person, but I just hate my space being like this. So in the famous words of Lily and Grams, gotta go. Look how juicy, juicy. Lip oil, y'all. If y'all can find this at your Marshalls, get it and you get three of them in a pack. Give one to your sister, one to your cousin and then keep one for yourself. Like, or just keep them out for you. Girl, these like, I, I, I need to go back and stock up. So I just tried to scavenge, not scavenge, but just try to like, try to look for something to, that I can make to eat. That's not like our normal, y'all know Sundays, I usually don't cook. I've told y'all this before, Fridays and Sundays, I usually don't cook, especially when I don't have the kids because they're with their dad. It's 6.30 right now, I mean, it's 5.30 right now. He still has them and when I get them back, they may have been fed already. So anyway, I'm just throwing some um, chickens out. And then I said, yes, I'm walking around my house naked. You could do that when when you're alone by yourself. My kids aren't here. I don't have any company. So yeah, I'm walking around my house naked. Anyway, I have these rotini, the garden rotini vodka sauce. Oh my God. Vodka sauce is so good i prefer this over tomato sauce my kids prefer tomato sauce i prefer vodka sauce so with the vodka sauce i will be adding just like a little bit of tomato sauce to it just a little that's why i have this little tiny can so just to kind of give them more of that like tomatoey flavor <laughs> so that's gonna be dinner some chicken pasta i don't even know if i have garlic bread or not if we don't we don't need it don't need the carbs and then I might make a green, some green vegetable to go with it. Maybe some green beans or, I don't know. What goes with pasta? What type of green vegetable goes with pasta besides a salad? I mean, I could make a spinach salad, but I don't know. Anyway, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. I don't have anything else really to do today except for picking up the kids later on and cooking. And y'all need to see all that. Y'all see that all the time. So I'm about to end the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Love you guys. All right, bye guys.